Hello, and welcome to our series on OpenUSD. In this lesson, we're talking about primitives. Primitives, or PRIMS for short, are the building blocks of any USD scene. Understanding them is essential for anyone working with 3D content creation and manipulation in the USD ecosystem. A PRIM is the core component within the USD framework. Think of a PRIM as a container that holds various types of data, including properties, attributes, relationships, and metadata, which define an object or entity within a scene. A prim can be a type of imageable and non-imageable entity. A mesh, a light, an X-form, or a skeleton are examples of imageable entities, while a material, shader, and skeletal animation are examples of non-imageable entities. Prims are organized in a hierarchical structure, creating a scene graph that represents the relationships and transformations between objects in the scene. Each prim has a unique identifier known as a path, which helps in locating it within the scene graph. For example, a prim's path might be world, building A, geometry, building underscore geo, indicating that it is a child of the geometry prim, which itself is a child of the building A prim, and so on. Prims can have various types of attributes associated with them, such as position, rotation, scale, material information, animation data, and more. These properties define the attributes and relationships of the objects they represent. A key feature of USD prims is their ability to encapsulate data, allowing them to be shared, referenced, and instanced across different scenes and files. This promotes efficient data management, modularity, and collaborative workflows. Typical use cases include defining models, cameras, lights, or even groups of other prims. The ability to efficiently manage and manipulate these prims non-destructively is what makes USD so powerful in the film and gaming industries, where complex scenes are the norm. In Python, Working with PRIMS involves several commands using the USD Python API. This generic USD API command is used to define a new PRIM on a USD stage at a specified path and optionally the type of PRIM. This command, specific to the USD Geom schema, is used to define a new PRIM on a USD stage at a specified path of type X form. Retrieves the children of a PRIM useful for navigating through the scene graph. Returns the type of the prim, helping identify what kind of data the prim contains. Returns all properties of the prim. Today, we covered what a prim is in the context of OpenUSD, its characteristics, and its role in building and managing 3D scenes. We also looked at how prims facilitate data encapsulation and sharing, which are critical for complex 3D project workflows. Understanding PRIMS is foundational for anyone looking to work with USD in any capacity. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, check out the following resources and we'll see you soon.